it is the owner of Love Rest Talk World Radio. 247, Jordan Garber, right here, and I am here with promoter of XOW, Tony Watts. How are you doing, Tony? Uh, pretty good, Jay. I'm glad to uh, have you uh, you have me on your show and everything. You know, no pr no problem. You know, I just um, was going through the internet looking through some promotions because I like looking at promotions from all around the world, and I it uh, showed up this one in the one in Europe. Uh, neck of the woods, and you know, I said, you know what? I'm gonna message you. I want to have Tony Watts on my show. So, um, let's get right to it. You know, um, what is a when you started? What was your vision? What was the first sign that you wanted to start a wrestling promotion? My uh, first sign starting a wrestling promotion. Uh, I started out with a uh, sponsor for an independent wrestling show down here in Senatobi, Mississippi. And then I got to become a special referee and everything. And uh, a friend of mine, Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock, uh, took me to towns, you know, as a you know as a referee, as a hill referee. And uh, I decided, you know, I seen some shows that were good, and I seen some shows that were, you know, crap. And I decided, you know, being a, a you know, a fan, a mark, you know, I decided, well, I'm going to come up with a promotion and I'm going to start running shows down here in Mississippi in the Mid-South. And uh, so probably back in 2000, 2001, I started up Extreme Outlaw Wrestling, specializing in the mayhem and madness. And uh, it's kicked off and uh, I've been doing it for 11, 12, 13 years like that, Jay. And uh, I've been pretty successful. Um, I will say this, uh, down in this part of the woods, I'm probably the most hated promoter in this area. So why uh, are you the most hated promoter in this area? Uh, <clears throat> back when I started, Jay, uh, there was just a handful, a handful of uh, promotions, uh, you know, that were good people that had good talent and stuff. And then now, everybody and their brothers and sisters, you know, wants to become a promoter that's only been trained six months. And I mean, some of the stuff, I mean, it, it looks it looks pitiful. And I mean, I'm not bragging about XOW. I mean, I have a good roster of guys. Uh, Bad Attitude, Tony Dabbs, uh, Chris Dials, uh, Josh Matthews, Danny B. Um, <clears throat> You know, Taylor, the asylum, I mean, I, I got guys that, you know, entertain the people. And, we got uh, a, oh, you finish off? Because we got a caller after this. Um, so you got, you talked about having the talent. What else? Uh, and, you know, it's giving the people what they want to see. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not Hollywood script like, WWE, I'm going to probably catch some heat from that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm kind of like, I want, you know, old school wrestling, you know, back in the NWA days. Uh, I, mean, I grew up watching it and everything, and, um, you know, I, I try to stay in that in that form, but more, you know, it, it, to the extreme a little bit. I take it to the extreme a little bit further than regular promotions do. Okay, we got a caller here. Um, wait for it. Um, okay, look, my computer isn't um, connecting until it does. Um, we'll continue to talk about uh, why you're the most uh, hated promotion. Um, actually, we've gone through that question. So, um, experience, how was your first show? How did your first show go? My first show, uh, it wasn't the best show. I mean, I had a lot of good talent on there. I mean, I had the family of pain. I had uh, Brickhouse Brown on there. Uh, I had Pure Destruction, uh, uh, Justin uh, Justin Rhodes, uh, Chris Dyles, Tony Dabbs. I mean, I had a lot of good talent, but uh, I trusted someone else to do the advertising for me, and uh, they kind of screwed that up. And uh, my first show wasn't really that great. I mean, uh, the matches were awesome and everything, just the fans, 
you know, wasn't there. The newspaper ad, you got a uh, show was on a Saturday. They put the, sh the show being on a Friday night, and that kind of screwed things up. So I meant, you know, it, it was just an all cluster, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, caller, you got to try saying something. Do yeah. I? Uh, all right, so the caller, obviously, uh, my Internet connection goes um, back and forth. It works, it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's okay, we'll just go on. Um, let's see. With how many belts do you have in your promotion? Sir? How many belts do you have in your wrestling promotion? Uh, I have anywhere well, from referees to uh, <clears throat> announcers. I get probably some of the best announcers around here, Oscar Bravo, Al Hall. Uh, I've probably got about 15 to 17 guys, uh, you know, it's, that I use on a regular basis and everything. Um, and I mean, go go ahead. ahead. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got a caller right here. Maybe it will work this time. Um, until we, yeah, uh, you were on basis. the air with, uh, the interview with Tony Watts. Do you have a question? Uh, yeah, Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Um, let's see here. Hello. Oh, is that a call? All right. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? We got a yeah, connection. You. Okay. Uh, you should see this out like uh, ECW promotion, like a uh, little dangerous, like that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm trying to... Hello? 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 Sorry, we, uh... It's too, did you hear the static on his end? I, 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 I could barely understand what he was saying, Jay. I, I, all I could hear is say is, hello, hello, and I could just hear an echo of the, my own program. So, you know what? I apologize to the caller. Um, we got a... Another caller, actually, though, from area code 347. Uh, what is your name and where are you from? Sprint Hello. customer 347 All right. I guess I, I don't think we want an automatic messaging machine to be on our show. You know what? Let's just go on with this. Um, the callers um, have a bad connection or something. So, um... Um, what was the first guy you signed in your promotion? Uh, the first guy that I signed to my promotion, uh, or several of them, uh, you talking about local or, uh, big name? Oh, any, talent? any, any star, any star. The first uh, guy that you said you're booked. Uh, the first guy I think I said I booked was, uh, Bad Attitude, Tony Dabbs. And then uh, it was Chris Stiles, Josh Matthews, Neil Taylor, uh, Danny B. Good, and uh, I'm trying to remember who else. Uh, Pure Destruction, uh, Hollywood Jimmy Blaylock. Uh, he's a manager and everything. And uh, and uh, then I hired my announce team, Oscar Barlow, Kimball Winstead at the time, and then Al Hall come along. All right, we got uh, another call. I think it may be from the same guy. We're going to give him one more chance. Uh, you are on the air. Can we hear you? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Okay, uh, listen, your promotion, would you say like you're on ECW kind of thing, like give the blood and the chair shots and like kind of an old school sort of thing, you know, like oh, hawking back to the old good days of wrestling, like that that stuff, that not like the stuff we're seeing on the TV now, not the WWE crap. I'm talking about the good wrestling. Yeah, uh, you can go to uh, my Facebook page, and I mean, I got some links, uh, or you can go to YouTube. Uh, I mean, we do use chairs. I mean, we use chains. I mean, uh, we use a little bit anything and everything. I I do take it to the extreme. Uh, you know, that's what the fans, you know, tell me that they want to see, and that's what I try to give them. You know, I try to entertain and cater to the fans. I do like that. I mean, you no, know, not just PG stuff. I really, really like that. So that you got your YouTube, you can check it out. Your wrestling on the YouTube. Yes, yeah, you can check my wrestling out on YouTube. It's uh, XOW Wrestling. Uh, 
uh, one of the good uh, good spots. Uh, it's not a very long video. It's uh, XOW Wrestling uh, 174. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, uh, there's another one, uh, XOW, uh, Race Returns to XOW, uh, that's another one of my good guys. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff that is on YouTube, but I mean, there's some copycats that's on there that's not me, but you, once you see, uh, like, uh, XOW, uh, Independence, XOW, Savannah, Tennessee, I mean, that's the kind of stuff. I mean, we do tables, louders, and cherry matches. I mean, you know, I mean, we, we take it to the extreme. Well, I that mean, sure is good to hear. I'm going to definitely check that out. That's the kind of wrestling I like. I mean, I like that stuff. I like the violence. I like the chair shots. I like the table. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jay, you there? Yeah, yeah I am. Listen, you like that Don Marie? <laughs> Me too. I wanked her a lot. Don Marie, baby. Oh, Woo! Uh, that's a rib. Thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. Um... If you don't know who that is, that's the guy, um, there's this funny story, I don't want to get right to it, but this Don Marie, and she's this girl on Twitter, and, um, I guess he's a bit of a big fan, but you know what, since Wrestling World 247 is uncensored, he can talk about that all he wants, but, um, no, to answer your question, I do not like Don Marie. To be honest, I like wrestling, and I bleed wrestling, and that's why I'm interviewing Tony Watts right now. It's not about Don Marie, it's about WrestlingWorld247.com. So, um, where, where was the first city you held, held an event in? Uh, the first place I held an event in was the Old National Guard Armory in Oxford, Mississippi. I heard of that place. Really? That's a good place. Yeah, uh, it was an uh, old Miss town. I just kind of hit it on the wrong night. I should have hit it when the college students were in town. Uh, that was kind of my fault because I thought some of the college kids were still going to be in town. But, uh, you know, you learn from your mistakes. And, uh, you know, and I, you know, I just, you know, I didn't give up. I just kept kept on rolling with it. And, uh, you know, and done what I could over the years. Uh, I was on uh, cable, uh, a local cable network down uh, in Mississippi for two and a half years. Uh I was on Memphis TV for a short period of time, and, uh, you know, I just, you know, I wanted to give the fans something different, you know, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking, you know, WWE, I'm not knocking TNA, it's just, you know, I, I'd rather be more realistic than, you know, scripted out, you know, I, uh, you know, you have, you have you have your good guys, you have your bad guys, and I meant, you know, that's what you pay them to do. You, you pay them to go out there, and, and you know, if, if if I want them to be violent, that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to be violent. They're going to impress and entertain the crowd. And I meant, you know, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little secret. Here a few years ago, we done a show in Independence, Mississippi. Um, as a fire department, fundraiser for a fire department. Uh, they had uh, Brian Christopher, uh, Grandmaster Sexton Brian Christopher, nine miles down the road from me. And I heard that, you know, they only had 24 paying people. I had the fire department packed. That it was a small building. that had 200, <laughs> 275 people standing around. No way. 275 people compared to the 26, and you had no big stars signed. No, no big star signs at all. Just my local talent. I mean, you know, uh, because I have a good following of people around this area in the mid south, and and uh, you know, they they chant, you know, XOW. I mean, I, you know, from where I, where I live at, I can go into a store, Tony. You know, when you go, you know, when XOW come back, and everything, uh, I got diagnosed with lung cancer. My wife had uh, cancer surgery and everything, and uh, June the 28th of this year, I had a light stroke, and uh, I decided I was going to take some time off. I figured I was going to do a retirement show, which I did on March the 2nd of this year, but, uh, you know, I get text messages and everything, and, you know, people want me to bring XOW back because they're sick of this uh you did say this is uncensored, right? Yeah, this is uncensored. Swear. 
Uh, well, okay. Uh, to be honest with you, Jay, I mean, they're sick of seeing this bullshit wrestling. I mean, if you're going to wrap the chain around your fist and you miss the guy by a foot and he sells it, you know, and the people, and the, people and, and, the, and the audience can tell that it's fake and if you hit somebody with a chair and love tap them, you know, it looks like, it looks like bullshit. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, if you go to uh, XOW one uh, XOW Wrestling one seventy four, uh, you see what kind of chair shots we do. Uh, the cage match, uh, Thunder on the Water, uh, XOW Thunder on the Water. Uh, Chris Styles, Josh Matthews going against uh, San uh, uh, DJ Stunner. I um, mean, that was a blood, that was a bloodbath there. I um, mean, you know. Uh, but stunned on the water, we had probably about 800 some people. We had Bub Bagwell on the show. We had Bill Dundee on the show. Um, you know, folks like that. You know, just bring in a few name people. You know, to to build up for Thunder on the Water because that's a you know that's a big deal down in Grenada, Mississippi. And uh, you know, it it was a good turnout. We had a good time, and you know, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the talent that I picked, I mean, XOW wouldn't have never made promotions of the year from Wrestling News Center, um, uh, which, you know, made promotion of the year in 2008 because, I mean, we were, you know, the best thing going. And, uh, you know, I have a, a buddy of mine, a partner of mine, Billy Russ, uh, you know, that, that's been behind me since uh, 2007. Uh, and he kind of helped me get along, uh, and helped me get some talent. Um, I mean, we brought in uh, from P uh, TNA, we brought in uh, Petey Williams, we brought in Eric Young. Uh, we had uh, Petey Williams in Winnipeg once. He's a great guy. Yeah, Petey Williams is a good guy. Eric Young, is a cool guy. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I've done spots with uh, Jerry the King Lawler. I um, mean. Uh, you know, a lot of people say he's an ass, but, I mean, you know, you just got to really get to know him. And, I mean, I've, you know, I've, I've always had respect for Jerry Lawler, and, I mean, um, I'm, not, I'm not kissing ass or anything. It's just, you know, it is what it is. I mean, uh, back in the Well, no, you just got to work with a wrestling legend. You know, that's um, that's pretty impressive. That's a good thing to add to someone's resume, for sure. I don't think you're kissing ass. I just think you're... Um, um, Mark, um, showing your achievements, and that's what everyone should do. I've interviewed uh, Johnny Samboli. I've interviewed Romeo Roselli. I've interviewed uh, Rory McAllister. I've interviewed all these great stars, and you know what? It's always good to tell everybody about your accomplishments because you're proud of them. So it's really yeah, cool I mean, that you got to work with Jerry. You know, I mean, I got to do spots with Jerry. I mean, I mean I've done spots with uh, Mick Tolley, uh, Cactus Jack, uh, I got to do a spot with Jake the Snake Roberts one time at a show. Um, you know, it, it, you know, I've I've had fun over the years. I met a lot of good people. I met, I mean, I've had met some assholes in this business, and uh, you know, and now, which there was just a handful of promotions down here in Mississippi. Now there's probably I don't know how many, and uh, some of them are idiots. Some of them don't even need to even be in a ring, Jay. But, you know, that's me. Uh, I try to look for some of the best, you know, the best talent that I got, you know, I can find and that I can use. Uh, uh, you know, I've used uh, the local guy, the Memphis Reno Diamond Tattoo, uh, Derek King. Uh, those, you know, major players on Memphis Wrestling. And, uh you know, and I'm proud of, you know, what XOW's, you know, become, and uh, I'm on, you know, my health and, uh, you know, my stroke, it kind of messed my memory up, messed my speech up a little bit, but, you know, I want to give the fans what they want. I think I still got a little more left in me, and, uh, you know, I'm going to get it kicked back up and going again, and uh, hope for the best, and, you uh, if I can't climb this mountain top and uh, be back on top again, and as an indie uh, promoter, you know, good for you. You know, you've you've gone through a lot. You um, you've gone through a, a stroke. You've gone through this stuff, and you know what? 
you just show, you bust your ass and try to get back, and you know, that's something I respect. If I was ever in the uh, Mississippi area, I would definitely check out an XOW wrestling show. If Hey, say I was in Mississippi and I was in an XOW show, would you let me be a backstage interviewer? <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, I would. Uh, that wouldn't be no problem at all. Um, I think I talked to one of your... Uh, um, uh, I can't think, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, he's messaged mm-hmm. me a few times. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to see about getting a building and stuff. I don't want to give out a lot of details because I know there's some probably local promoters that's listening to your show, uh, because I advertise it on Rathman News Center and everything. I mean, I got some cool stuff that's lined up, uh, I'm just working on getting a venue big enough to hold the people on what I want to do. And, uh, you know, there was a time, you know, I would tell people what I was going to do, and then next thing I know, you know, I'd get stabbed in the back, and, you know, they're doing it. And, uh, you know, so I just kind of keep what I got planned to myself. And, uh, you know, and when I get ready to advertise it, uh, I advertise it on Rathman News Center and do my posters and uh, newspaper ads and, uh, you know, and hope for the best. So let's say you have a show coming up. I'm not going to try to make this all about me. I'm just really curious because I'm, I, I, I've done these interviews for, I don't know, I know I've some years and um, I've done it for two years now. Um, say I go to Miz- uh, Mississippi in a year and you have an XOW show. Would it be possible for you to book me to be the backstage interviewer? Yes. Uh, yes, that would be no problem at all. I'll look I'm into that. So, uh, now, enough about um, me trying to ask for these things. It, I, we want to know all about the fans. Like, all the fans want to know more about XOW because obviously this is something, something special. Um, when is your next show? Do you have anything planned for your next show, or are you just working things out and trying to get back to it? I'm working on things, trying to get back to it. I got to uh, uh, redo some work on my ring and stuff to get it back in shape and get it back in, you know, uh, tip-top shape like it needs to be. Uh, <coughs> I'm checking on a few buildings right now and in, uh, in the local area and everything, and I'm hoping either sometime this year uh, well before the end of this year I'm planning on doing a show and then next year I'm planning on doing a couple of shows. Uh, uh, I got some special stuff lined up, and uh, you know I just I hope and uh, pray that it works out. You know, once they um, sorry, go on. Uh, because I'm I'm going to do something a little different this time uh, than I have before. Uh, there's just a very few people that know about it. But, I mean, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be something that's never been done at a wrestling show. And, uh, you know, I would say that much. And uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be entertaining. You know, um, if some callers are trying to call in, I apologize if I keep dropping your calls. We just want to get this interview to the point. Um because we uh, don't want to really, we already heard from, I think, two fans, and, you know, it's just, it, I just want to get to the point on this interview. If you want to call in or anything, go tune in on Wrestling Radio Ultimate on Wednesdays. You can check it out later on my blog talk channel. This is pretty much strictly a live interview. Um, but, um, you know, it's been great. Do you have any uh, call? We have five minutes left, so we have a bit of time to kill. But um, let's, uh, what, okay, here's a good question. What was the biggest moment? that you had in struggle. What was a moment, what was your biggest struggling moment in running XOW? Uh, the biggest struggling moment that I had when I was running XOW. Uh, it was a, a booker, which I was thought was my friend at the time, and uh, it was when we were doing TV shows down in uh, New Albany, Mississippi. And, uh, he decided, you know, he was wanting to, you know, just more or less push me to the side and take everything over to himself. 
and uh, you know he changed the locks on the building and everything, and tried to take the, tried to take the XOW name, which uh, me and uh, Joey Lynn, referee Joey Lynn, come up with the uh, name Extreme Outlaw Wrestling, and uh, you know he tried to take that from me, and I uh, mean I went to the athletic commission, and I uh, mean I've been the promoter for you know. 10, 11, 12 years, and I wasn't just going, you know, walk away from it, and, uh, you know, I got my stuff and moved on, and, uh, and like I said, after that ordeal, uh, it was in 05 or 06, and then, uh, Billy Russ come in, and next time I know, you know, we're, uh, promotion of the year, and, uh, I got, uh, award for manager of the year, and, uh, uh I mean, I, I I'm proud of, of the success that uh, XOW's had and I meant like I said if it wasn't for the guys XOW wouldn't be where you know where it was and uh, in the future I hope the future is uh, going to be bright for XOW and uh, you know, all I can do is pray and hope for the best no, that's um, awesome um, we have uh, four minutes left so um, what was the biggest rising moment of XOW wrestling the biggest uh, moment of XOW Wrestling, man, there's been a few of them. Uh, especially the Thunder on the Water, uh, that's one of our one of our good moments. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, church youth group programs, fundraisers for them. Uh, I've done a few fundraisers for fire departments and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I'm not Vince a man. I don't have millions of dollars, but, you know, I try to give something back to the community. I mean, if it's a benefit show or something like that, I mean, I have more enjoyment out of, you know, helping, you know, a youth group or uh, a school or something like that. And, um, you know, and, and my guys have fun. I mean, they go out there, they bust their ass, and, uh, you know, and I appreciate every one of them, and I thank every one of them. And I mean, I paid my guys, and, uh, you know, and and every one of you know, and every one of them, you know, gives me the respect back. And, I mean, you know, it's just it's a respect thing. And, uh, you know, I respect the guys, everyone that's worked for XOW in the present and in, in, in the past. And, uh, um you know, like I said, I mean, you know, one guy told me, you know, that I was the most hated promoter, you know, in North Miss, you know, in, in Mississippi, and I mean, it, it's the product that I produce, Jay, I mean, it's what people want to see, you know, they want to see someone go through a table, they want to see someone get busted in the head with a chair or a kendo stick or, or you know, stuff like that, and, you know, that's, you know, that's what I want people to to have, I mean, you know, I want the them to, want, to right? I, you know, give the, give the fans what they want, and, you know, and that's what I try to do, I mean, I try to look at it as, as a promoter perspective, and as a, a fan perspective, you know, what would I want to see, you know, what, you know, what would be something different, you know, um, you know, you've seen some of my clips of, on YouTube, and uh, man, uh, you tell me I mean, what you've seen. What do you think? Well, you know, we have a we have a minute left, but if I have to say it in a quick way, I've seen I've seen a lot of them that you when I first uh, talked to you. You know, they're very very cool. And you know what? I watched another clip because I wanted to see the next clip and everything. And you know what? It's only the beginning for XOW. Yeah. So we are almost out of time, but I want to, we have 56 seconds left, so I want to give a few, I want to give a plug for myself. Um, check out my website, WrestlingWorld247.com. A lot of great interviews, a lot of good stuff happening. On Wednesdays, I have a show called Wrestling Radio Ultimate. Um, today, you've been listening to um, Tony Watts, the promoter of um, XOW. He's uh, trying to get back into it, do some, do um, due to some personal health reasons, and you know what? He's totally uh, rising to the occasion, and uh, it's XOW is going to be back, and it's going to be really, really special. So go on YouTube, search XOW Wrestling, check all that out, and Tony, thank you so much, and take care. Uh, you too, Jay. Thanks for having me on the show.
That was Wrestling World 247, me interviewing Tony Watts. Stay tuned to Wrestling World 247 for more interviews. That it, Jay? Jay. Jay. 